Our team coverage is continuing now in Sumter County. They've seen heavy rain, but the county says they are prepared. News 19 caught up with the town leaders earlier today to learn more about what they're doing there. Sam Perez is in the Gamecock City with more on that. Sam. Yes, J.R. Darcy, residents, county officials, city officials are prepared. So I'm here in downtown Sumter, shielding myself from the rain under the awning at the Opera House. And let me show you what's going on behind me. So you can see there is a lot of water coming through these drainage pipes draining from on top of the buildings. And you can see that businesses around the area have set up sandbags. So when I got to town hours ago, most of the businesses here in downtown were already shut down, already have these sand sandbags set out. And I spoke to someone at Swan Lake who said they were also putting sandbags out there with the goal being basically to protect the businesses on the other side of the sandbag so that way any water will not get inside these businesses. So it's not only the business owners that have been preparing, but I caught up earlier today with Sumter County Public Works Director Karen Hyatt, who says that her crews have been getting out preparing for this for days. We got some cereal, we have some canned food, we're gonna make a little chili tonight. We have some wine for the 21 plus group. <laughs> uh, yeah, we got a good mix of everything. And so Karen Hyatt basically said that she had ha has had crews, about 25 people, working 10 hours a day out in areas that are prone to flooding. They've been having these 10-hour days, and they're just trying to keep the drainage uh, that goes into the ditches from out on the roadway. So they don't want that to go in the roadways. And you just heard from a Sumter County resident who's been bu busy getting ready stocking up at the grocery store. She says she's going to stay in tonight. As you can see over here, there are some cars out and about, but generally things are pretty quiet. You can see puddles starting to form here, even though this area is a little bit higher than some of the more, more rural parts of the county. But again, you heard from Danielle Germain. She was saying her goal is to stay in tonight. So she was over grocery shopping today, trying to avoid this weather. Reporting live in Sumter County, Sam Perez, News 19 WLTX. Well, she is thinking exactly like how Governor McMaster wants me.